But one of the things that distresses me as an individual, in, as an individual, so very much, and I'm not sure whether this is a result of my experiences, because I came through the depression years. Uh, you, you, you youngsters would not even have been thought of. But the 30s were difficult times in America, all over America. Um, it was really in, not until Franklin Delano Roosevelt became president. Uh, he had been preceded by a man named Herbert Hoover, but the worst depression this country at that time had ever known. Uh, people were selling apples on the street and what have you. And when he came in, he instituted a list of alpha, what they call alphabetical agencies, AAA, Agricultural Adjustment Administration, uh, NYA, which I was on during a part of the years that I was in college, the National Youth Administration, I worked at the YMCA. But I, I think what I see too frequently is, and I'm going to get a reaction, I suspect, in any but people refusing to accept responsibility for their own actions. Student fails, it's the teacher's fault. If you're talking to persons in a failed marriage, if it's a wife, it was a husband, if it's a husband, it was a wife. Um, never themselves, it's always shifting the responsibility to to somebody else. And I, you know, I often say, you know, when is a person going to look in the mirror and just say, I just messed up and take total and complete and full responsibility for something that the person has done? And to me, that I have found that that's one of my it's your, it's your basic philosophy. Yeah, that people yeah. ought to be responsible. People ought to be responsible. You know, I, I agree. Well, <laughs> she does to some extent, but I refer to her as an apologist because she took a course in psychology when she was in college. I think she took one course. No, baby, I'm a, I'm a matter in psychology. <laughs> I think she took one course in psychology, and it must have been a course which explains deviant behavior and sometimes <laughs> makes excuses for it because she can find, as it were, uh, off-the-wall explanations for the most deviant behavior you'd ever want to see. <laughs> but I, uh, I, I just, you know, it, it's too frequently, it's, it's, you know... But that is, that is what, that is true. Um, whenever something is wrong, I try to figure out, well, you know, somebody, I try to figure out, well, there has to be a reason for this. And all I do is give a reason, and Max says, I'm making an apology for it. He calls me the apologist, and he, he and his daughter just laugh at me on it. Like, what is the, why is that person like it? Well, you know, what did somebody do to him in his childhood? Well, you know, there is a reason why people behave the way they do. And I think if you can understand that, you can understand the individual. Max says, don't you need to take responsibility? When are you going to ever take responsibility for your own actions? But you know, as I said, I, I, I think it's, you know, she came out of the parsonage, I came out of the north. And um, I've worked on all kinds of jobs. Uh, I was working at a freight transfer station at the time. I was working for a master's degree. I was loading and unloading railway uh, boxcars. So that I know what it is to many of the uh, persons with whom I uh, was in college worked at the steel mills out in Homestead in Pennsylvania. So that. I think maybe those persons who lived through those years have developed, I think, I hope, a kind of, I don't want to call it self reliance, self sufficient, but kind of attitude that I want a lot of excuses. You don't? No, I'm. You don't. Uh,